everybody and good morning. Welcome to our week number four Twitch live stream for my research methods class. I'm so sorry that we are on a different day and time. I know that uh, schedules are complicated and, and this probably threw some of you. I haven't been feeling fantastic, like my voice was kind of giving up on me yesterday and I just didn't think that I would be able to uh, talk well enough that you would understand and hear me just fine. So um, I'm not sure I'm feeling a whole lot better today, but my voice is a little bit better, so I'll take that. But um, thank you so much for those of you who are here. Can you all hear me and see me okay? Um, there aren't a ton of you in here, but those of you who are, could someone let me know if you can hear and see me just fine uh, before I keep going? Everything looks good on my end. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, what I want to do is go over a little bit of feedback. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate it. Uh, there's so much sickness going around. My partner teaches at Royal High School, and she has like 18 people who are out with COVID. There were people who had COVID in my abnormal psych class. Thankfully, I've tested negative repeatedly for for COVID, but like that doesn't mean whatever it is isn't um, obnoxious. So yeah it's 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 so strange you know it's um covid was such a huge deal and then now it's just like yeah we're all getting it it's just like a cold and we just keep going right so strange sometimes uh yeah yeah and then i started coaching two soccer teams and so i think the like yelling um and just kind of all the talking has caught up with me so uh either way i'm, I'm hanging in there so thank you so much uh but let's go over to canvas together and um, what I want to do is give you a little bit of feedback from last week because we did have kind of an extra element due. And then we'll talk about what we have going on this week. We do have our first exam, so I want to spend a little bit of time um, going over that, making sure you know what to expect and kind of highlighting, uh, highlighting some tips. Uh, so for week number three, last week, just a couple of things real fast as we wait for it to load. There we go. Uh, so last week you had your discussion and the homework assignment. And I just wanna talk about both just for a moment, just give you a little bit of, of feedback. Uh, for the discussion, really nicely done. A lot of you looked up like depression, uh, anxiety. There was a lot of like mental illness like related topics. PTSD was another one. Uh, the things that I suggested in the beginning were very common, uh, but really nicely done. I hope you saw how different the results were depending on where you look. Like I know for me, whenever I'm just trying to find the answer to something quick, I'll just type it in Google and that's perfect for like a quick answer to something. But if you're conducting research or if you want like something more academic um, you do have options and I love that so many of you did a beautiful job of looking at different search platforms talking about academic versus non-academic sources and advantages and disadvantages of Wikipedia really nicely done um, the biggest reason people lost points was just not quite giving me enough um, some of you didn't elaborate in your responses or not responding to a classmate remember the two points is what you get for responding to a classmate that's something that's going to be really like consistently helpful for you and getting you those easy two points so just make sure that you do that if you haven't already the homework assignment for last week was kind of a similar thread and uh, hopefully uh, you felt like everything kind of connected uh, well with each other but with the homework assignment you are in charge of going on psych articles and finding an article that was in APA style and then um, identifying the different components of it right by putting the title the author the journal the abstract and the first sentence of a bunch of different sections you also had your short little summary that you did and I was really impressed um, it's difficult to do like a short summary of an article that's a skill uh, to learn and a lot of you did a beautiful job a lot of really interesting articles too like I saved quite a few of them to read when I have a little more time whenever that might be right uh, but really really nicely done I, I thought a lot of you did a fantastic job the biggest reason that people lost points was some of you forgot to upload the article so my only way of double checking that you did everything correctly was to check the article and so if you didn't upload the article or if you just put a link to the article you lost a couple of points otherwise uh, most of you got full points really nicely done you weren't necessarily writing much that was unique you were copying and pasting but it is a very important skill to be able to identify the different sections to um, 
be able to summarize. And a lot of you did just an absolutely beautiful job doing that. So nicely done. Um, you will have three more homework assignments. Um, I think they get a little bit more challenging maybe from here, but this was a really good opportunity for you to get familiar with the databases online, to get familiar with APA style articles, and to start identifying those different components. So again, really nicely done. I also appreciated all of um, your honesty and feedback with the checking in. Most of you feel like things have been going really well so far, which is fantastic. A lot of you are nervous about exam number one, um, which we have this week. So um, thank you for your honesty and for, for answering the survey and kind of checking in with where you're at. Uh, we move on to week number four this week. And this week, instead of giving you a chapter, uh, you have a lecture, right, that you're reading. So we'll have three different units on APA formatting. And in those units, I'm often going to give you like outside readings to do um, or like little outside like um, PDFs. So um, not so much from the textbook this week. So this week you're reading the lecture on part one and then watch the lecture video. And those two things together are going to go over like introducing APA format and um, why do we use it? When do we cite stuff? That's kind of our, our goal with the first part of APA is understanding what it is, why and when it is used, and some general rules for avoiding plagiarism, like when do we cite stuff and when do we not? And then in part two, we'll build on that and then part three, build on that as well. Um, so make sure you read over the summary. Make sure you read all the Beyond the Book and watch the little videos here. Um, again, since we are not, um, you're not reading anything in the textbook, really important that you're going through all this. I wonder why this image didn't show up. I'll have to check that on my end. Uh, but looking at when do you cite, when don't you cite, when do you use sources to avoid plagiarism. Um, so much interesting stuff now with like all the AI generated um, things like that is still plagiarism. It's not your, your own unique work. So, you know, things that are kind of interesting and evolving, but really understanding what APA is, how it might be different from other things you've used like MLA or Chicago style or any of that kind of stuff. Um, and then on the last page, <clears throat> As always, here are the key terms that you need to know for the exam. So make sure that you listen to or read all of that um, and go through everything there. Don't forget to also watch the lecture video. Um, so where I'm lecturing on APA style, it's really brief, right? But it's going to be helpful in understanding the materials for this week. The other thing that you have, as always, is you do have a discussion and then we have an exam. So we'll spend more time talking about the exam. But discussion number four um, once you have read everything, of course, right, you can watch my little brief introduction video. Make sure you think about um, everything as like mini papers, right, really elaborate in your responses. Remember, it's worth 15 points, 15, 13 for your responses to me, and then two for a peer. Um, so the video is going to be helpful for you, but this one is all about APA style formatting and when we're citing and when we're not, right, definitely connected to our topics and content for the week. So answer the following. So um, question one, what is APA style? And explain when and why it's used. Number two, I want you to read the following three scenarios. And for each one of them, I want you to decide whether or not it's plagiarism and explain why or why not. So you have three different scenarios. And for each one, is it plagiarism and why or why not? Make sure you explain, make sure that you're referencing things back from the, um, the lecture and the reading from this week. Uh, and this is just giving you a chance to practice and use that information. So when you're ready, you'll hit reply. And then don't forget to also reply to a classmate um, so that you get those two very easy points, okay? The last component that we have for this week, other than the extra credit, which of course I'll give you later, and then the recording, which will be uh, posted later today, is exam number one. So you will take four exams in this class. And I want to take a few minutes to kind of talk about the format and the style, how to prepare, some tips for being successful. The exams are right here on Canvas. And I want you to know that I have written the exams. They're 100% written by me. Um, so they should be very clear. They should match up really well with what we're covering, which hopefully is good for you. Uh, but exam number one, if you click on this link, it will take you to the exam page and there are some instructions and then when you're ready you'll click take the quiz so a couple of things to go over the exam is worth 50 points and it has 50 questions so each question is worth one point it's due by this sunday night at 11:59 p.m so make sure that you do take it and complete it before then you have 60 minutes to complete the exam so you have a little more than a minute per question 
which should be plenty of time. On average, people tend to take about like 45 to 50 minutes to complete the exam. So it should be more than enough time with a couple of caveats, which I'll talk about here in a second. But 60 minutes and you only get one attempt. So as soon as you hit begin, you are in it. Make sure that you are ready before you hit begin. Make sure that you're organized. And some tips for what I mean by that. Um, if it were me, and this were the first exam in a class I was taking, I would make sure that I'm overly prepared. It's always better to overstudy for the first exam because you don't know what to expect. And you can always dial it back later, but you don't wanna have that moment where you're like, I wish I had prepared more, and you're in the middle of an exam and it's too late, right? It's gonna cause you a lot of anxiety. So try and set yourself up for success. Make sure that you have a good quiet place um, that you are sitting to take the exam. Make sure that you have 60 minutes to spare, that you have good internet, and then also that you have studied and prepared. So you can use your notes and you can use your book. You can use anything at your disposal during the exam. But I promise you that if you're trying to look up every single answer, you are going to run out of time. And that is a little bit purposeful. I want you to study and prepare like this was an in-person test, but you can have your notes and materials with you as a backup in case you need them. And so if it were me, I would go through and type up the entire study guide and I would have it right in front of me. Uh, that way I know I have all of the information. I'm not searching through like the textbook and the lecture and the videos trying to find stuff. If you're trying to do that, I promise you, you will run out of time. So when we open the study guide, I, I will say a little more about that, but definitely study and prepare. The exam should be very clear, right? I will never trick you. If something seems confusing, try and read it again. It's mainly multiple choice, true, false, and matching questions. You will get a score instantly once you complete it, um, though oftentimes um, there are some short answer questions on there, and so those ones I have to go back and grade manually. But for the most part, you, know, you will get a score for everything that you completed and answered, and um, you'll be able to see how you did right away. Uh, make sure you're watching the clock, right? Leave yourself enough time. If you don't know the answer to one, skip it, and you can come back to it later. And then when you're done, you'll hit submit quiz, and that will give you, um, you know, your submission to be to be completed. So um, those are just some kind of general tips. Let's go back and look at um, the study guide. So what I do is I make the exam, and then I go through and make the study guide from the exam. And the, the test itself is mainly on the stuff that's covered in the book and the lectures. Between the book, the lectures, and like the lecture videos, everything that you're gonna need is in those three components. And what you'll see here is that the study guides are just a compilation of all those terms at the end of each lecture that we've done so far. So this exam has chapter one, chapter two, part one and part two, and then APA formatting part one. So everything that's on this study guide, make sure that you know it, right? So if it's on here, you'll see it on the exam. So if it's on here, make sure you study it, that you're prepared, you understand it. If it's not on here, you can let it go. You don't have to prepare or study for it at all. Um, so again, if it were me, what I would do is I would type each one of these things out in a document and I'd have it in front of me. That way, let's say I'm taking the exam and I can't remember what falsifiability is, Rather than trying to have to find it in the book or find it in the lecture, or find it in the video, I can just go right to my study guide and reference it and it's quick and easy, right? Um, so I think that's a really great strategy to have. If you find that you overprepared, again, you can always do a little bit less next time. But the first exam in a class is always a little daunting just because you don't know what to expect. But since you have a study guide, um, this is everything I want you to know. I'm trying to set you up for success. I want you all to do well. If you all got an A, I would be so happy and proud of all of you. Um, so just make sure that you know everything on here and you should be in good, good shape, okay? And again, the exam is mainly multiple choice and true, false, and matching. Um, those are like the main formats. 50 questions, 50 points. Right, so make sure that you are spending some time studying and preparing. The other thing that I would really encourage you to do, please try not to wait until Sunday night to take the exam. Inevitably, it's like the law of the universe, right? If you wait till Sunday night, your internet will go out, your computer will crash, um, the power will go out, right? Something will come up. It, it just always seems to be that way. So try and set yourself up for success and take it Friday, Saturday, maybe even Sunday morning if you have to, uh, but don't wait until late on Sunday evening. Uh, you're gambling a little bit at that point. Um, and 
Again, make sure you complete it before that deadline, um, Saturday night at 11.59 p.m. Okay, uh, are there any questions at all about the exam? Uh, hopefully you're feeling okay about it. Any questions or thoughts, anything I can, I can help answer while we're on that topic? I'll wait just a minute <clears throat> here just to make sure. All right, I'm not seeing anything for now, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, but if you think of a question, of course, feel free to put it in there. Um, I have a couple of reminders for you, and then of course I'll give you that extra credit question. Um, so the first one is we are in week number four. And so quite a few of you who subscribed for free uh, with that Twitch, uh, Amazon Prime Twitch connection that I shared with you, um, it's only good for 30 days. So if you have noticed that you no longer have um, the football cake next to your name or the crown next to your name, uh, it might mean that it's time for you to renew that. And so every 30 days or so, you do have to go through and manually renew it. Because it's free, they make you take that extra step. So I just want to show you how you can do that. If you never subscribed, you can still do that. If you're watching this later as a recording, the only way to get that extra credit is to also be subscribed so that I can track your um, participation and attendance. Um, really not too difficult to do. It just takes a couple of minutes. And I just would like to thank you for those of you who have done that. It saves me so much time and not very many of you have done it. So um, thank you to those of you who have. I really appreciate it. I want to show you really quickly on a random channel. Just it's like a fantasy football channel that I follow. Very exciting because today the football season starts. I'm so excited for that. So yay, yay for football. It has been way too long. Um, but let me show you. So um, pretend this is my channel. Um, this is like a, a football one that I follow. But if you were on my Psyched with Setmeyer channel, you'll notice that right here there's this little purple bar, right? Oh, let me move this over a little bit more so you can see it, sorry. Um, my screen doesn't always match up with yours. So right underneath the, the like banner is this little purple drop down menu bar right here. And if you click on the down arrow, it's gonna bring up some options and all the way down at the bottom, there's a spot where you can click use prime sub. And this is how you're going to renew um, that 30 day subscription. So when you click on use prime sub, it brings up this subscribe for free with prime. And then you click on that and you're resubscribed for one more month. Um, some of you forgot to do this last step um, previously. So this is how you do that. So again, if you were on my psyched with Setmeyer page, you go right here to the subscribe, this purple drop down menu, click on the arrow, all the way down at the bottom, click on use prime sub, and then subscribe with Prime for free for one month. Okay, and if you could take a, a minute to just double check that today, um, that would be amazing. And again, if you haven't ever signed up, um, you still can at any time. Um, and that would be really helpful, especially if you're watching this later, because you couldn't make it since I changed the day and time. Um, the other reminders that I have for you, if you're looking at our schedule, let me put this in the chat. Our next Twitch live stream will be on Wednesday, September 13th at 1230 p.m. So we'll go back to our normal day and time next week. Again, I'm sorry to change things up this week. I just wasn't feeling amazing yesterday and I thought it would help to have one more day. So um, our next live stream will be next Wednesday. I'll go over some feedback about the exam and things that I saw and then we'll move on to week number five. We'll officially be one fourth of the way through our class at that point. Um, and then let me give you the extra credit question for today so that you have that and can answer it. Um, and this is the week number four Twitch extra credit question. Okay. So your question for this week is what does APA stand for and which edition are we currently using? So what does APA stand for and which edition are we currently using? And if you'd like to answer that, you'll go to Canvas. And since we're in week four, you go to optional Twitch extra credit number four and click on that. And then up here at the top, click on start assignment. And in the text box that pops up, this is where you can type your response and then hit submit assignment. And that's going to give you that little confetti burst and thumbs up signs, <laughs> which are great. Um, so 
that's how you can do that. This is due by Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. And again, if you're joining me live now, make sure you put your name in the chat or unless you're subscribed, which is a few of you. Um, and if you're watching this later, make sure you're subscribed and then you can still answer it. Okay, um, those are the big things I wanted to go over for this week. Make sure you get going on the content. Remember, there's no reading from the textbook this week. It's all this APA formatting in the lecture, so kind of short and sweet, but watch all the videos, read everything that's there, watch the lecture video, complete discussion four, and then don't forget about that exam, all right? And again, be sure to study and prepare. Set yourself up for success. I hope you all do beautifully. I know you're going to do great. Um, I have faith in you. Um, and then, of course, you have the extra credit question from this week as well. Okay, so um, what I will do is I'll hang out for a little bit. If you have any questions for me, I am uh, happy to answer them. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Very excited to have football back for for today. All is better in the world when football is, is back, at least for me. I'm a big uh, Patrick Mahomes fan. Um, Brady's my guy, but he's retired, so now I'll root for Mahomes. And, and some of my other guys. Very excited to have football. And uh, I hope you all stay cool. It's going to get hot this weekend. Stay healthy. Coming from the one who's sick, but still stay healthy. Take care of yourselves. And I will hope to see you on Wednesday next week at 1230 for our next live stream. So thank you all so much. I'm going to minimize my video, but I'm going to hang out for a little while if you have any questions. Um, thank you. Um, somebody figured out the subscription piece. Again, try and uh, you can do this for free. I know it's an extra couple of steps, um, but it, you can do it for free as well so that you're not spending um, your money. So thank you so much for all of you for being here. Have a great week. And again, I'll hang out if you do have any um, questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marisol. I appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, what's up, Sarah? You have a question? Yes, so if you can't make it to the live meeting, so Sarah, you're not subscribed here on Twitch or you don't have the little, see how when you're subscribed you have the little football cake or the crown next to your name? So if you can um, do the free subscription with Twitch and you can't make it to the live meetings, you can still answer the questions on Canvas to get those points. So since you're here today, you can obviously answer it for this week. But if you're not able to make it, which is totally understandable, I know people have classes and work and all sorts of stuff, uh, I know it's a little bit tricky, but so if I show you, if you go back to Canvas, that I have um, like step-by-step -step instructions and a video, right? So if you go right here, subscribing to my Twitch and YouTube channels, you can pay for it. It's like $4, but I'd rather you not pay for it, obviously, if you don't have to. So that's a decision that you, you can make. It's totally up to you. But I do have like step-by-step -step instructions right here for you with pictures. And then at the bottom, there's even a video. So I, it takes a couple of minutes to figure out and do. But if you can, then that's completely free. And if not, um, I believe it's like $4 or $4.99 or something like that um, for a month. Um, obviously, if you can figure it out, that's better. Uh, if you have like a tech-savvy friend or if you, even if you just Google how to subscribe for free with Prime, um, but the step-by-step -step instructions should really help. I know it's a, it's a little complicated, but once you get it set up, it's good. Um, from there, it's quite easy to renew it. So yes, if you figure that part out, then you can go ahead and answer things even if you're not here with me live. I hope that, I hope that helps. I'm sorry, I know it's a little complicated to do, but once you set it up that one time, it's, it's not too bad from there. Yeah, no worries.
Thank you. Have a great week.